So when people have problems with SOAS, this is a view from the front. And basically they've scooped out all your internal organs. SOAS is this guy right here, connects on the inside of the femur, right along the lumbar spine. I have questions about whether people have a tight SOAS or they have an inactive SOAS. And I, and I do mean I have a question, like I don't know. Like if you guys know more than me, we can like talk about it and try to figure it out. I do know that a lot of people will have back pain that seems to come from psoas. How much do you guys go into through the front and work on this? Every time. I do it sideline. Does it feel comfortable to the clients? No. When I work on psoas through the front, that's part of the belly reboot. That's what I called it. The session is 90 minutes long. I'm gonna uncover her belly, use coconut oil, and I'm gonna soften all this. Probably 30 minutes, just like working my way in. And then after all the superficial muscles feel like butter, it starts to feel like I'm working on abdominal organs. Like I can literally get to the point where I'm pressing on her spine from the front. Usually not after a meal. The way that I would address so is, especially for new people, um, I think sometimes when you just say so is to clients, they go, I used to not like SOAS work because people would just kind of dive in and I, I, I just felt like I was kind of sensitive here. It was, it was too sharp. Do you use your fingers, Danielle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you dampen at all? Yeah. Like what do you do, use a pillowcase or something? Or? Um, sometimes I use the sheet or the blanket or I'll stack my fingers. Okay. Breathing, just going soft. Yeah. And then you have them breathe to like work through it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, can you turn face down in the face rest for me? You have more problems on your right side, you yes. said? Okay. The first thing is, earlier, we kind of softened the gluteals and the low back. I'm going to come in here just to jostle a little bit, of, just to get her to unwind and let go through here. Do you have uh, tight glutes, typically? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to use a knee here just to see how's this. Is that too much? No. Okay. And a little bit, just to soften through here, because we're pulling across the hip joint. I'm going to do the single leg variety, and this is much easier on a table. I'm going to hook under so that I can get a grip here, and I'm just going to walk her through a range of motion first. How's that? Okay, it's not too much pressure, not uncomfortable? Okay. No pinch in your low back? Okay. So above the iliac crest and on the same side, in this case her right side, I'm going to isolate above the iliac crest with the heel of my palm, right there. How's that? Feels good? Okay. Big in breath for me. And exhale. How's that? Okay. You want a little bit more? Sure. Okay. Big in breath for me. And exhale. There we go. We just got right to your edge there at the end? Okay. Um, I kind of tested her first just to see some movement. Then we, we isolate. If I want to use this version, I can. It depends on the size of the person, okay? Sometimes if I'm working with a really large client, ladies, you ever work on a guy where you feel like you'd have to reach down this way? Yeah, because they're, they're large enough, right? After we do this version, we're going to do this in side lying as well, and I'm going to show you a more biomechanically effective way. This puts a little bit of strain on my back because I have to lean over the table, right? I'm going to do this one again since she has a little more problems on this side. Big in breath for me and exhale. Now you tell me, a little more lateral or a little more medial? Okay. If I, if I take the quad out as much, is that better? Okay. Now I can make that as deep as she wants. So I'm going to do this again so you can see under the knee here, little handle. I'm going to jostle just a little bit right above the iliac crest. I can do this without just to test the range of motion. It doesn't isolate so is as much as when you press above the iliac crest. Because when I do this, her lumbar spine comes along with me, right? Twists. When I put a little pressure right above the iliac crest right here, I'm isolating and pulling through the front. I'm in the back, but I'm lengthening the front. Is that too much on your quad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Big in breath for me and exhale. I'm going to bring her up and over. No more than that? Okay. Oh, I'll give her just a little bit of rock, a little bit of movement. 
I can't see her face, so I have to communicate with her verbally. How did that one feel? Do you want another pass? Okay. <laughs> Big in breath for me. And exhale. There we go. How's that? Not too much? That feels like it's right at her edge. Now, if I decided she had too much quad, you see how I adjusted so she could straight leg? Same basic idea, just took the quadriceps out, hip flexors. How was that? Yeah.